uh, our lodging uh, secured by the uh, the little person. Yeah, that we have I am. To. I am adding something because I think it'll be mm-hmm. neat. Because mm-hmm. uh, I saw somebody else doing it and it sounded cool. Uh, I'm okay. gonna add food to the game. I haven't made okay. any food yet, like officially, and maybe like mm-hmm. any cards for it or anything like that. Mainly because I've been playing Baldur's Gate and haven't really focused on this at all. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, fair enough, dude. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I got enough prepared to not have to focus on this for at least another session or two, and then I'll start working on adding more things. But I want to yeah. add food. And what I want it to do is, like, when you eat food that's, like, good and you pay for, instead of just food that's, like, included in the price of something, but, like, food you specifically go out to pay for at, like, a restaurant or something, Mm -hmm. I want it to basically be, like, a buff for the day, where depending on what you eat, you get a die size increase. Oh, On a specific stat according to the food or in general? Yes, according to the food. Oh, fantastic, dude. But, like, I haven't developed any food yet. Mm -hmm. So we can just kind of come up with that on the fly. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll become... Well, I already told you which uh, my next class is going to be, so... Yeah, I mean, and once you get that, you'll be able to buy ingredients and make the food yourself Mm -hmm. instead of having to... So... Yeah, Yeah. Freud wants to become the... uh, He wants to pick up the gourmet as his third class. Oh, cool. Yeah, because it Wait, gives me gourmet? two inventory points. Yeah, gourmet, gourmet. is from the playtest material. Oh, okay. I, I, I didn't look really uh, at it. I just saw the picture that you posted. Yeah, that's there the There are a few answer. classes that might, might interest you, actually. Yeah, I saw, or I looked at the one that was like a... I don't know, there, there was some, there was some, yeah, there was the S for one. I looked at the S for one. Yeah, I thought uh, that, that, that might interest you. Mm-hmm. Uh, the floralist it's not really your character to be honest yeah, I wanted more like <laughs> dark magic and fire magic is kind of what I was invoker yeah invoker I did look at invoker mm-hmm. yeah yeah I mean dark magic is kind of handled by the anthropist class and then fire magic is handled by the elementalist class so mm-hmm yeah. Like the Entropist is the uh, one that would the Entropist class is kind of the ones you would think a Dark Knight would have, like ability wise, because they're the ones with like uh drain vigor and stuff like that, which, you know, drains HP and heals you. Yeah. They also have just a lot of They also have a lot idea, of debuffs. Yeah, they're like they're like a space time kind of thing that they have going on. Yeah, but is their he- magic like they're they're the they're the only class that has like Umbra and stuff like that, which is dark magic. That's true. I mean, you run out of points to put in the classes that you have, like not really quickly, but you you do right because you can only put ten in a class. Yeah. Right. So you you will eventually have to pick up a fourth and fifth class. Yes, at the bare minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. True. All right. Um, yeah. So. Oh, uh, have, how many? Do are we up to three FPS? Uh, it does not reset like that. It does not reset. Oh shit! You I get it did. you get no. You get one if you're at zero. You get one at the start of a session. Okay. I think. Oh, wow. Let me let me double check. I didn't. I thought I thought they reset. No, we, uh, at the end of last session, we got one. We recovered one. Yeah, we did. We did. But I thought I thought we got it re-topped off, but... I can be wrong. I only... I, I, read, I did read through it, but now it's been a few weeks, and things have been interesting, so... Yeah. I like how you pick the word... Uh-huh. <laughs> I've heard some things that were interesting. Yeah, some things were interesting. I need to talk to Kevin. Yeah, but I figured. He, he was in the Minecraft chat, and I didn't want to talk to everyone. I wanted to talk to him. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. yeah. If, pair, if a player has no Fabula points at the start of a session, they gain one. Oh, shit. Whenever a player rolls a fumble on a check, they receive one. 
Whenever a villain makes an entrance, you get one Fabula points. Okay. When okay. a player character is reduced to zero hit points and they decide to surrender, they get two Fabula points. Okay. When a f- player character invokes one of their bonds or traits to automatically fail a check, you receive a Fabula point. I forgot you could fail checks automatically if you want to. Hmm. That's interesting. Our ability to manipulate reality is a bit hampered on this one, Freud. Yeah. Yeah. We only, yeah. Ha- only got one. I got only two. One. Oh, you got two? Oh, shit. Yeah, apparently. Um, yeah, bullshit too too much, and, and Rupture told me, no, dude. <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so I was like, okay, fine. So you can, you can invoke too. bonds or traits to fail a check. Which, like, you can be like, oh, I'm, you know, in love with this person. I can't do something that would harm them and decide to fail a check that would possibly cause them harm or something like that. Okay. Which would give you a fabulous point. Okay. Okay. Only one or, sorry? Just one. Just one. Yeah. Everything gives one except dying, which you don't actually die. You just surrender. But we, can we die? Well, you get to zero, you, you get a... You, if you hit zero hit points, you surrender. You don't die. The only way to die is to specifically say that you'd like to die, and then we come up with a way for you to... Um, for you to... Position um, to another character? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, basically, it's supposed to be like a heroic sacrifice type of thing. Like, mm. Basically, your death is granting the wish spell. Whatever you want to happen because of your death gets to happen. Oh shit! That's okay. death would As far as, uh, up to like my discretion, at least. If I'm yeah. like, no, this doesn't just end the campaign because you wanted to fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, pretty I, as fuck. I'm done playing, and so are the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <Get> <laughs> okay, uh, let me move us back to the map. And the music should have changed. I turned it down because it was it was jamming by the end of it. Yeah, it was got it got louder. Yeah, it dude. started off started off slow. Yeah, yeah. Slow this is the bus. official Fabula Ultima Overworld travel music. So, anyways, uh, we started. Uh, you slept. Uh, you had a vision, kind of. Not really. It was more like a third-party cutscene. Uh, nice, nice. You know, like you're privy to the information, but your character's not. You know, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. Okay. So, yeah. Well, uh, <clears throat> you're in the Adventurers Guild because I think mm-hmm. you chose to get a room there. And the adventure skill has everything. Yeah. Yeah, it has a sort of lodging. Yeah, for adventurers. Only for adventurers, mm-hmm. though. That's oh, okay. Adventurers, so because though. we got the card. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I I say let's go see the mission board if there's something that will allow us to make some some senates. Yeah, I think we're going to need them. Didn't really make anything on that last one. Yeah. You made Hopefully a friend. What do you mean? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, true. The treasures were the friends we made. Well, right. the friend we made along the way. Right. Who they... almost killed us by poison, but but right. fine. was a friend nonetheless. She's trying Twice, her best, okay? Yeah. <laughs> she should probably try someone else's best, but she's trying her best. Yeah, <laughs> true. Uh yeah, uh Arcadia. Uh, what was the thing? Journal, quest log. Here it is. Side, side tasks. I follow uh, to the board. Uh, just you know, just in case it was. Oh, I have... If there was any question. Yeah, I'm, uh, and and very very like a, like a distracted. He's gonna read out loud the missions, like he's reading them to himself. <clears throat> mm-hmm. 
I also act like I'm reading them to myself. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, I, I, to be completely honest, I don't, I don't like confrontations. So deal with a rogue mage. It's uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, score the diplomat. Um, that was, it could be a would win. 150, I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Morthos starts. can read numbers, he just can't read <laughs> other things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he, he can read money, to be honest, so it's fine. Uh, Sheep guards, I'm out to set out a delivery to the United Provinces. Uh, Oh, pirates. And pirates. we can resolve a dispute. Yeah, the sky pirates on ship guards. What's the, what's the dispute about? Well, it says here uh, a trade agreement between two rival merchants has turned sour, uh, leading to escalating tensions and potential violence. Mediate the dispute and find a peaceful resolution to avoid further conflict. Hmm. These two idiots just won't, won't back down over a simple agreement. Please send someone to mediate before this comes to blows. Concern observer. One, mediate the dispute between two merchants. Two, prevent an escalation to violence. Reward, hmm. again, no violence. Un- unknown. I think we, Is it we, that, we proved that we excel at violence just yesterday, didn't we? Uh, uh, well, remember, we, we didn't kill. We did that? Yeah, but we didn't kill anyone. We well, captured. It doesn't have to be murder. It's just violence. violence. Just normal. Okay. Yeah. Just normal violence that you have. You, you see like my you character do. squirming a bit. He, he, he doesn't. He doesn't be called violent, but but sure. Uh, well, we, we can pick between those. Those are the less violent, I say. Uh, to score, uh, score the diplomat or resolve a dispute. We can, we can resolve the dispute and then take the, the scored one. Okay. I I don't see a money payout. Yeah. Th- those. Yeah. Yeah. That's a uh, that's a lot of uh, question marks there. Yeah. Maybe each question mark <laughs> is a, like a like a nine, so it's nine hundred ninety nine in it. It could be. Could be. I saw that. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I think let's start with that one. Cool. I'm going to tap my uh, little card yeah. at the yeah. at it. I tap it too. Tap, tap, tap a room. Okay, so uh, you've accepted the resolve a dispute quest. Yes. Mm-hmm. Let me get all my. My abilities here. <coughs> All right, so giving, uh, going to the counter to get further information if you want. Yeah. She'll yeah, give you yeah, the yeah. Uh, the location that was given, which is just in like the merchant's quarters. The merchant okay. quarter of okay. the city, yeah. which I'm sure uh, Corso would know the way to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I went uh, to buy some some uh, uh, ingredients for experimentation, so I know where it is. Okay. <clears throat> trying to trying to think how this goes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. In, in uh, the way, we, we, once we get a, a bit near, I, I ask a few of the guards if if they know anything about this in particular. Where, where to start? Uh, the guard says, no idea, bud. <laughs> we don't really handle nope. disputes like that. Well, thank you. Oh, that's good. But you would have been given, like, the name of a, um, of a shop to go to. Oh, okay. Okay. So. I go uh, towards the shop. Okay. <laughs> Uh, one second.
<clears throat> All right, so you head to a shop, mm-hmm. which is called uh, Zezgu's Accessories. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> I, I I take out my uh, my identification and um, I I ask for the um, the manager. They would like to speak with the manager. Oh, so you're you're already inside. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no. Uh, okay. Like uh, I was gonna say, I as, gonna right, then, as as you walk through the door, then you see oh, a, okay. a heated argument between a uh, half dragon and a uh, a dwarf. Oh, shit. And okay. overhearing the argument, you hear them discussing uh, basically what. Uh, What's the word? Ingredients. Mm, Such as like... Okay. Uh, in- ingredients for accessories. Like uh, metals okay. and magical items and stuff to make accessories out of. Yeah. Okay. And uh, th- they seem to just be arguing over the price between the two. Oh, okay, okay. The the half dragon is arguing, saying that the um, materials, that's the better word, materials mm. are too expensive for what he's charging for the accessories. And the dwarf is arguing that he's not charging enough for the accessories, so the material should be more expensive. Basically, like the the dragon should the half dragon should charge more th- so he can pay more f- for mm-hmm. materials. Okay. is how exactly. the argument is going. From the conversation, we can extract that the half dragon is the crafter and the uh, dwarf the material supplier. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That was yeah, a hell of a fight on, to, to to actually people <laughs> request the adventure skill. <laughs> <laughs> to solve this. Well, it's been a it's been a fight that's been happening off and on for a while. Mm, okay, people are annoyed. Like a, it's 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 a constant fight every time the two meet. Okay. Are they sharing like the same or some like a really close shop space? Also. Uh. Yeah. Uh, the accessory shop is probably run by the half dragon. He might be Zezgu. Uh, the dwarf probably runs a local shop nearby that just sells materials and such. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, you know, uh, I look at uh, Morthos. Oh, well, Morthos, you're, you're a people person. You oh. want to wanna, wanna take the lead? <clears throat> of course. I'll, <laughs> I walk... <laughs> I'll walk up to him. Hail, I'm Morthos. You must be. <laughs> you must be Zez, and you must be Goo. <laughs> I say <laughs> to each of them. They kind of stop in their tracks at just <laughs> the. Hey, uh, mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> right, where's our reward? They're done. Totally yeah. Like, <laughs> they, they sort of like. The half dragon has a sort of dumbfounded look on his face, <clears throat> and he's just like, "I'm Zezgu. That's my name. It's the name of the. Sh- he's not Goo. Oh, no, never would have guessed it. That's an <laughs> uncommon name. <laughs> anyway, I I come <clears throat> like <clears throat> <clears throat> right." We're here from the Adventurers Guild. I quickly flash my card, but not, and I don't let it linger because it's weird looking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the FBI, like open close. <laughs> uh, this is my companion, Corso. Uh, apparently, I, I there's put a, my card up so I can yeah. identify myself. This looks, this looks normal. Apparently, there's uh, some sort of dispute uh, that's been going on. Between you, I didn't catch your name, and I, I talked to the to the dwarf. It's uh, it's Yadius. 
Gaudius. A strong name. <clears throat> and uh, so we've been sent to kind of, you know, see what seems to be the problem and if maybe we could, uh, we could help in some way uh, come to, to terms you could both agree with and uh, you could both, uh, you know, um, profit from. Look, I'm barely scraping. Uh, this is the dwarf speaking. I can't really do voices. So. That's cool. You don't no, have that's to. fine. Uh, you don't have to. I'm barely scraping by making a profit off of this right now. I'm charging him as little as I can to make a profit, but he refuses to charge more for his accessories. And so he says he can't pay more. That's not my problem. He should be paying me more and then just charge more to the civilians. Okay. Okay. Just, just questions so we we get the the entire context. Is there a reason you can't make more profits? Is there something to do with uh, the area in which you get the materials, or is this just how th the cost of doing business, the th the thing that is um, contributing to your prices of of your materials? Well, yeah. Haven't you heard about all the pirate attacks that have been targeting merchant ships? Where you th where do you think I get the materials from? Uh, uh, I'm yes, not just yes, digging yes. them okay. out of the ground in the city. Oh, it costs it co it's costing me more to get these shipped in, and I can't continue to pay or I can't continue for him to pay the amount he's paying and still supply his goods. Okay. Okay. So. so uh, so if, uh, yeah, if, so if we take care of this pirate problem, then that would probably bring down the, the cost significantly to you. Is that right? Well, I'm sure if you took care of the pirate problem, it'd probably bring down the cost significantly of a lot of things. Well, that seems like that'd benefit us as well, I say to Corsa. Yeah, we only have to face the entire Sky Pirate faction. No, they were regular pirates based on the the scene, but you obviously like you would be course you would probably know that the, there's a pirate problem happening, but they're they're sea pirates, they're not sky pirates. But most to things be, are shipped mind, on regular. In my mind, to be honest, in my mind, I, I would guess that Corso doesn't didn't care at all about the the pirates. He always got the things oh, that he needed. Not. Oh yeah, never had to pay for them himself. Exactly. Part of the exactly. Oh. So mm. even if the prices went up he wouldn't have cared because he had the money like he didn't value money the way he's valuing money now mm -hmm. yeah no but they, they are regular Mo most things in this okay, world okay. are done on regular ships it's rare for like they're not necessarily rare they're just very expensive for airships okay okay and typically they're only used for like fast transportation of people Okay. Okay. Or war, but you know, or besides war. Yeah. the point. <clears throat> and I asked the the half dragon, uh, Gridian skin. Uh, is there is there uh, just again just to understand the context? Uh, is there a reason why uh, you feel reluctant to increase the prices of your very fine products? If I start charging more for my products, then I'm going to get less customers. I've got I've got loyal customers that come to me, and I if I charge more, they're not going to come here. Why would they go to me when they could just go somewhere else? I okay. second that. Yeah, I, I'm like, yeah, he's yeah, preach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, I'm gathering that. Mm -hmm. It would help not only business but also relationships between uh, uh, merchants uh, if we can help somehow uh, with the pirate threat. Well, yeah, I'm sh I'm sure it would. I mean, we've always had good, we've always done good business together. It's just I I, I can't do what he's agreeing, or I can't agree to do what he wants me to. So. Okay. Uh, well, what about? Uh, do you have any information about the pirates? Do you guys know anything about the pirates? You you notice uh, like more attacks when you are trying to bring in materials from a specific area? Maybe that they're maybe they, housed out of and get head towards. They roam 
they roam the eastern seas. Okay, eastern seas. Okay. Primarily, I mean, the, the pirates are all over, but the the most we don't really get much from uh, that other continent. If you catch my drift. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 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 I don't know why I've decided to go redneck with this half dragon. He can be that way. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. He's a red dragon. It's fine. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. He's a red dragon now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A red half dragon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's how he got a name like Zezgu, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, would you uh, would you? Accept as uh, a, a truce between uh, both of you uh, if we help you with this entire ordeal. Give me we, mm-hmm. double willpower. Ah, okay, okay. I have no excuse to roll poorly. <laughs> Although I might. Is, is that good enough? Is, it, is that pretty good? Me, me. It's it's not. It's it's, it's, it's not. Bad. It's not bad. It's not what it's I was so going good. for. Yeah, it's not good either. No, it's not what I was going for. Uh, I was thinking a little higher than that. I think I'm supposed uh-huh. to tell you what what I'm trying, what you're aiming for. Oh, okay. Uh, how are you? I think I think so. That's your prerogative. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I think I'm supposed to tell you. Uh, I'm, we're okay. not going to worry about that right now. I'll, I'll read through it again and see if I am, but I kind of like it just being as is. Yeah, so they both kind of look at each other and huff. I'm not... I get the the dwarf says I can't afford to God damn it I can't that what was the slight voice I was doing for the dwarf um not the redneck one yeah that, that, that's that's a, it was just I can't like afford a, to take voice. Yes, yeah I, that one. I can't afford to keep doing business like this I'm sorry and he starts to leave well well hold on now I mean if if we if we get rid of these pirates then the cost should come down significantly and and i i uh i like pat uh, uh corso like on the shoulder i say uh corso himself uh, actually uh you know dabbles uh in 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 the trade of crafting so you know you may even find more sales uh that so this could be all to your benefit and now he'd know exactly who to come to and so uh this allows me to uh, sacrifice an FP, and I can do this skill called My Trust in You, and you can re-roll that check. Oh, okay. Uh, Rub, if you want to look at my sheet just to to see it. Yeah, I know, I know which one you're talking about. If that's acceptable to you for him to be able to re-roll his thing. Yeah, the question is, would yeah. be if that's in combat or out of combat too? It's either. Oh, I would okay. Say. Yeah. It says whenever a player character you hear is able to hear you performs a check. Um. Okay. Uh, it just lets you. It doesn't really let you re-roll. Um, it doesn't let you re-roll both dice. It lets you re-roll one. Okay. So you could re-roll 1d8. Okay. Uh, the one that is the three, of course. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Eight. Nailed it. <laughs> we did it. We convinced him. <laughs> is he convinced? He's convinced. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
right? Is that was he a great, convinced? It was a great speech. We did it. Come on. He's in. He's in. We're in. Um, he does. He does falter a bit, and he's like, "What? What? What makes you think? How oh, fuck? What makes you think you could do anything about these pirates if they're just out there roaming around?" Okay, I put my hand inside my item, my item thing, in, in, and I get item. out my shot, my item, and I get out my shotgun and I cock it, and it starts to sound like it's uh, since it's physical damage, the 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 coil is starting to to heat up and has the that beautiful sound of uh, uh, a rail gun. They kind of <laughs> for a second they're just they only back away a little bit and they're like, what the hell are you doing? Oh, this is what it's going to take care of the of the pirates. It's not our first time uh, dealing with something like pirates, so I think we've got this under control. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Guns blazing. Uh huh. <laughs> <Just. laughs> you know what? Roll. <laughs> Let's do a let's do a group check. Both of you okay, roll willpower no, no, no. plus willpower since you're basically just fucking trying to intimidate them into this point. Submission. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna put up a clock. Oh, should I do willpower? Oh, shit! Critical success. Oh, okay, dude. never mind. I can I can roll. <laughs> you can roll if you want to. Oh yeah, shit. yours yours would be real willpower plus willpower also. Yeah, well, uh, a critical he, miss. A critical miss. Yeah, he, be... he got max. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, roll it, roll it, please, please. If it is a critical miss, I'm gonna fucking piss my pants, dude. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. okay, okay, okay. That's pretty good, actually. Oh, okay. Is yours above ten? <laughs> yeah, that's twelve. Okay, well then you both passed. So you get a, you get a plus one to your natural twenty, basically. Okay. And you get an opportunity, which I have to remember. Where those are. Opportunity. Page 41. Okay. Uh, so, you you get an opportunity. Mm-hmm. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt Yeah, you. no, that's fine. Just... Yeah, good. that's good. Um, so, you, you get an opportunity. You can either... You can get advantage... Which the next check performed by you or an ally will receive plus four. Uh, affliction doesn't really matter here because I don't think you want to actually attack these people. Oh no! Uh, you can create a bond if you want. If you really, if you really just connected with your half dragon brethren. Yeah, yeah, uh, I was thinking that 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 could work. Uh, only, you can do only he only he gets a bond. You can choose. Yeah, only him for getting opportunity. Um, you can do faux pas, which choose a creature present on the scene. They make a, cra- a compromising statement. Oh, that oh. one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You want to do that one? You don't want to do like yeah, you can yeah, do with favor. The dwarf. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the dwarf, that would be perfect to make the peace while we deal with the other shit. Yeah. That's actually that was it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Compromising statement. He's got a tiny pe- no. <laughs> <laughs> Compromising meaning meaning if if he if the these uh these uh merchant, this crafter doesn't buy, he's gonna run out of business. So that's a Yeah. That's a so. pretty compromise. It's like if 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 you don't lower your prices or if you don't get to an agreement, no one's gonna mm-hmm. um like a, Buy from him. They're both dependent on each other. So yeah. fair, fair so. enough. We'll we'll let we'll let that be the compromising statement then that he's mm-hmm. he goes, well, I I suppose I can lower the prices just a little bit while you know, to help out my neighbors. Excellent. And I and I shove my my shotgun inside my <laughs> my item bag. <clears throat> Great. Thank you very much, sirs. Thank you very much. I didn't catch what what kind of items do you do you sell here, Zezgu? 
Well, like it says on the on, on the sign out front, I sell accessories. I don't know what, like uh, like a hair clip, like magic. Are you, you're not from around here, are you? Magic hair clip. <laughs> it could be a magic hair clip. It's just they're magic accessories. I got a little bit of everything. I mean, look around. I look around. What what kind of accessories you got? You got something? Says you got stuff we can use. Like yes, he does have. Yeah. <laughs> do you, do you want you you, su- you successfully diffused the situation? Do you want I'm your good. reward now? Maybe. Sure. Oh, I thought we we weren't done, but since we we are fantastic. Yeah, you've successfully diffused it enough to keep keep the fight at bay for a little while, and yeah. since you've promised to take care of the pirates. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, sure we got that in the bag. What kind of fat loot do we get? Do we get an accessory? Hell yeah! Come on. Uh, was, that, was that was that? Okay, that was Freud that said. Be right back, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, I'll also. No, I'm here. I'm just thinking. Like, oh, okay. I want to get some coffee. Uh, so go give me just I'm gonna go grab yeah. some water. All right, cool. I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. (laughs) I almost got the line out without laughing. Close. Pretty close. What line? (laughs) You must be Zez and you you must be Goo. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was pretty good. (laughs) Okay. It was a. It was dumb enough to get them to at least stop the argument instead of you having to like physically intervene. It just seemed like the thing to do. I, don't know. I was like, "Wow, I didn't. I didn't plan on such a stupid statement to come out." So, <laughs> <clears throat> I got you. I have acquired my water. Nice. I got a bunch of coffee. I got water too. Yeah, I'm out of... I should go ahead and order some. I've been putting it off. I like gamer soups. Hmm. Like the... The flavor or whatever. What is that? Okay. It's like G Fuel or whatever. It's like a water flavor. G Fuel. But it's, it's gamer subs. Okay. Welcome back, Freud. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah. So if we if we get a, and I was thinking that if we get an accessory, I think you should get it because you use the uh, fabulous point that made us succeed. So just saying. Maybe we both get one. Unlikely. Maybe we get a maybe we get fusion earrings like in Dragon Ball Z. Ah, that that would be a very average uh, in terms of knowledge. That would be pretty powerful. Because <laughs> I know a little bit uh, about a certain aspect of the world, and you know nothing about this world. Yeah. But we both have very, very uh, complementary. Uh, Abilities. I agree. 
Uh, so yeah, so the the dwarf kind of grumbles and goes to leave. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. Bullshit wins the day once again. Uh, and so the the half dragon <laughs> goo or says. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Goo, if you're nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Senor Goo. <laughs> Puppy Goo. Pup- Puppy Goo. <clears throat> um, I don't know. <laughs> he goes. You know, I don't. I, I don't reckon I've seen y'all around here too much. You look like you're in need of some accessories, though. <clears throat> How about, uh, yeah, I do have quite a few, but I can't let them go for free now, but I could, I could give you a discount. Lucky us. I, I I just like uh, in a motion that by all means, I I, like give you like the, by all means, get a, get a discount. Which guy back there? He's willing to give you a, uh. He's willing to give you a 10% discount. Wow, wow. He's so generous. Uh, yeah, 10%. Man. That's what he's offering. Uh, unless. Mm. Yeah. Unless you want to haggle. <laughs> what's, uh, what's, uh, well, what's he got? What's, he, what's, what's on the table here? I don't even. I don't oh, know. What, uh, what... uh, it, it'd be under the, the items, under accessories. It's under the items? Oh, fuck. Hold on. Items. Yeah, you need to read the uh, on the display. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. <clears throat> no, on the display, I'm, I'm guessing there's a, there's a name for the item and a description of what it does, and you need to pick. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> well, there are just too many good ones to pick just one. Uh, do you, do you need some help? <sighs> oh, yes, Corso. You seem to just know so much more about this than me. Hmm. You do know how to look at uh, items, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what's uh, what's your uh, um, let's just say, uh, how's the, the the size of of your uh, of your wallet at the moment? It's looking like a hundred twenty zennies worth of size. Ooh, ten percent, huh? Oh wow, mm-hmm. I could get so I have infinite choices uh, beho- before me. Uh, I, I say, like, very, very, in a very, very <laughs> whispery mode. That, that, that's nothing. <laughs> yeah. The I cheapest the, one is. I uh, see the numbers. Uh, yeah, 450. Oh, it's that's the, Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's, that's not helping me any. Yeah, well, I wish it could help, but. What's the. Uh... Well, what seems to be the issue? You know, nothing catching your fancy? Hmm. Well, the thing is that there's, I just, I can't pick just one. And uh, seeing as how, uh, you know, the pocket's a little light, uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll have to come back at another hmm. time, uh, I suppose. We do a lightweight st- plan if you want. Oh well, that's wow! Again, you're so accommodating. Um, I can I can see why you can't raise the prices any further, or you'd lose customers. <laughs> you're looking too right now. <laughs> well, what if? And hear me out. Uh, you just give me the explorer's belt, and I will advertise. Uh, what what is the site? Is this shop called is it just called Zezgu's. Zezgu's accessories. I'll I'll advertise Zezgu's accessories as we defeat the pirates. Uh, you know when we come back and let everyone know that it couldn't have been done without the mighty and you know um talented Zezgu. Hmm. 
<laughs> I do like the idea of some advertisement, but that I mean, you don't you don't have anything you could pay for it. I will slap my hundred zinny on the table. I got a hundred zinny for you. Zez, uh, it's that's that's my final offer. Well, that's a lot more than a ten percent discount, but <laughs> I, I I I slap him on the back of, uh, of uh, Morthos. I said he's 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 good for it, and I'll make sure he he. Well, actually, I will help him uh, make some ads for for your shop, and I'm gonna spend one uh, fabulous point. <laughs> so that we can make wanna... some ads at a later date. For... Exactly, exactly. One for the first. Oh, oh. Uh, he's back. I, I was scroll. I was moving my mouse on my second screen, and apparently, just perfectly moused over Discord on the taskbar, and then over the. Anyways, just gonna continue. Drink. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> How about? You give me Yeah, so you're spending an FP to do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean Come on, it's just a belt. It's not even that good, it just gives initiative. <laughs> just gives actually, initiative. It's actually not. It's actually not that good. It just. It just. It just negates your minus three and gives you a plus one instead. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Because it's it's unlikely that for the most part we are going to defeat them in one turn, especially since we haven't changed in level. Um. Really, it would help a lot, actually, if I went first, considering Corso has the healing spells. <laughs> True. Here, here, here we go. Uh, all right, I'll I'll let you hold on to it. Oh. And I'm gonna keep your hundred gold or your hundred zinny. Mm-hmm. But uh. I expect mm-hmm. you to take care of them pirates. Oh, yeah. I mean, how could I not now that I've got the explorer's belt? Look at it. No, I hold it up. I hold it up I, so he can... I, I just hit his uh, <laughs> his leg with mine. I, it's like, dude, you're, you're, you're pushing it. <laughs> I, I, I'm agreeing with him. It's great. It's, it's so good. Okay, so you've got the explorer's belt now. Oh, fuck yeah. How do I come with an amazing, with an you amazing should be able to drag it, yep, and then just make sure it's equipped. Uh, so you click on the name of it and click equipped. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, look at that! Wow. It changes your initiative to a plus one. Oh, this this it? game makes me fucking lose it, dude. Where is that? Uh, <laughs> on a, Where your on initiative says? So your initiative says one. Oh, I see it over there. The, okay. Yeah, if you unequip it, it'll say minus three. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh man. Thanks, you guys. It says think, you. We'll see you soon. I think since the way you're doing things, like the way you kind of wanted your character, you would have been better like dumping decks almost. I need the decks for the for the attacks. Yeah, you need it for the spear. But if you had a great axe, it only rolls might. I know, but. Um, I can't do elementalist stuff with the with that. What do you mean? The interactions of this game is just 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 kills me. It's working. <laughs> yeah, they just kill me, dude. Even in battle, dude, it's just fantastic. <laughs> I love this shit. Oh. So, uh, um, <clears throat> anyways, well, see you around, and then um, let's. We're gonna head back to the 
uh, Adventurers Guild so we can uh, look at the board again. Yeah, validate the uh, the completion. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta validate it. Mm-hmm. Morthos has his first quote added to his character sheet. <laughs> I want to. See, I want to see that. How, how do it? How, how do we see it? I don't think you can. But Spec can tell no, you what if he wants to. <laughs> it says, "You must be Zez and you must be Goo." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> holy shit okay um yeah so you head back to the adventurers guild you let them know the quest is completed they mark it down uh you get a small reward from them of uh a hundred gold Oh, what for, from the the guild? Yay yes, for completing oh. the quest. Yeah, and uh, you know for not per person we're, though. We're Just increasing. Total. Oh, okay. What okay. the? <laughs> wow, what's the f- okay? Guilds on hard times, huh? Yep. <laughs> so you've completed two quests. Now. Oh, wow. Hell yeah! All right, two uh, two. When do we win? How long till we rank up, Corso? F, uh, it just seems doesn't seem befitting of of yeah. men of our talents. I, I'm going to be absolutely honest. I have mm-hmm. no idea. Mm. Same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just okay. doing what feels right. <laughs> question for another time. Yeah. Question for yeah. another time. <clears throat> I was thinking five. Yeah. TBD. How many quests did I make for this area? Did I make five quests? Uh, yes. But you said we shouldn't take one of them because we right. might die. Well, I mean, you could probably take it now. You've got a little experience under your belt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we could, we, we we could to... railroad it a little bit if you want to, and I could tell you uh, <clears throat> you should probably escort the diplomat and then kill the mage. Okay. Yeah, we need we need to we need to go towards uh be a bit more um, a bit more firepower to um to be able to kill the pirates. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Even if we if we even do it, you know. Um <clears throat> I, I I just was just shake my head like, like <clears throat> I, I don't know what we agreed on. Upon. <laughs> like, <laughs> The worst person who already got paid. I guess it's, I mean, I'm, we're off the hook. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or, I mean, I've got a belt. I got a great deal. <laughs> <laughs> I, as a scholar here, I, I, things got away from me. Like, like <laughs> my, my life is spiraling down. You see that, that, you see that I, I lost a, a little piece of my soul. After all of this, it's like now that I got the realization that everything I do has consequences. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll we'll, <clears throat> we'll we'll take care of it. We'll take care of it. All right. Uh, <clears throat> right. Well, let's uh, since this one was uh, was a quickie, let's let's go. I, I get a sense that the the, the gods are telling us uh, that we need to protect this implement. I, I think I think would be. Uh, a good next step. Oh, sure. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> where do we... He's a, he's a, he's a, uh, a tourist like <clears throat> me, you know? So we'll have a lot in common. Yes. Yes, of course. I, I just, again, <laughs> side eye. It's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I tap the, uh, <laughs> the, the, mission, uh, the mission thing. I'll tap it as well. Mm. Okay. So you're escorting the diplomat. Yes. We go to the, the counter again and ask for the details. <clears throat> okay, the guild rep working behind the counter informs you that uh the diplomat should be in a hotel near the port. The okay. the uh, airship port. Okay. Oh, hi, Roy. Well, you know he's a diplomat, and uh, 
the seas are dangerous at the moment. I've heard something about that. Yes. Funnily enough, it's been mentioned a few times. Yeah. <laughs> um, so she enough, informs you. Water. What? Funny enough, my machines are not keen of water. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, she informs you that the diplomat is from the United <clears throat> Provinces of Cocostia, from the continent of Eldoria, and their name is Sori Yara. Sorry. Like uh, story. Okay. Like story, yeah. It says mm-hmm. it in the, the, their name is mm-hmm. in the... Uh, oh, Sori Yara. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so she informs you of the the hotel and everything that they should be staying at. And yeah, yeah you can make your should, way there. We should go. This yeah. one's literally just a quest to get free money. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yep, we go. We take the uh <clears throat> we take the uh what's it called? The uh the Magi uh Magi train towards the uh, the port. Okay, sure. <laughs> it, it, it's free transportation, dude. It is a very, very developed uh, city. First I'm hearing of it, but I'll allow it. <laughs> 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 it makes sense that a uh, advanced city would have free uh, transportation. Yeah. At least Morthos inside is, the city. Uh, is in wonder at the, at the magic train. If, uh, for me, it's like, to say it. <laughs> it's like yeah. Yeah, I couldn't care less. M- Morthos is touching things. <clears throat> I just, just look, look uh, at his uh, wonder. Mm-hmm. And try to figure out what the actual fuck. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah. you you ride the train for a little ways, which you know it makes sense that there'd be a train as big as this fucking city is. Um, you get off at the port, you head to the hotel, which we don't have a name for, so generic hotel dot ping. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> okay. And then you walk up to the counter and, uh, you know, <clears throat> there, there you go. Uh, yep. Well, greetings. Uh, my name is, uh, Corso Shandor. I come in representation of the Adventures Guild, uh, to meet, uh, Mr. Story Yara, or them, or... I was about to say, Yara. bold! <laughs> bold throughout the misses without knowing in this, the year of our Lord. <laughs> That's why I, I, I was like, oh, yep, yep, I need to say all three. <laughs> yes, Miss Story Yara is uh, currently in her room. I'll, I'll ring her and let her know that the adventurer she's requested are here. Oh, thank you very much. And I don't really have a picture for her, so kind of designed the character after I made the quest. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Uh, but you, so shortly, uh, a few moments later, you see um, a young scribe coming down, and behind her is a uh, slightly older but still fairly young, um, tan-skinned. Uh, human. Okay. Uh, she's she's dressed fancy, but not in sort of the way that you would expect. It's almost like she's wearing beach wear. Okay. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Which, if you know any, uh, you could you could roll. Uh, you, cool. you could try like a history check almost if you want, and roll a double insight. Okay. Double inside it is. <laughs> yeah, I was going to make it easy, so that's fine. That's more than enough. Uh, you know that Kokostia <laughs> is... Well, it's the United Provinces of Kokostia, so it's a bunch of just separate provinces all in one little mm. area. Uh, and it, it is on the beach, basically. It's it's like a beach nation. Okay. It's, it's Freud, a long... Freud, do you know anything about... Like beach nations? 
Yeah, there's a lot of sand. <laughs> uh, to be completely fair, it's it's not my area of expertise. But what oh. I do remember is that it's a group of provinces that are uh, gathered to, together under a, a government. Oh. On the uh, on the uh, or right. There's no centralized government in Kirkostia. Every province has its own mm. individual government. But it is a relatively peaceful land, and... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I say, uh, Lady Yara, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm, I'm Costa Shandor, and this is uh, my uh, fellow uh, adventurer, uh, Morthos. Hey, I'm mostly just the, the muscle. Corso knows his way around. <laughs> like putting the band aid before the the wound sort of way. It's so like don't ask me anything. I know nothing. She'll <laughs> she'll look you over and she she'll look Morthos over and go, hmm, yes, quite the muscle. <clears throat> and anyways, yes, I'm sorry, Yara, and uh as I mentioned in my request, this is my first time to the city and I'd like a proper tour guide and I figure who would know the city better than some local adventurers wow <laughs> true she's true. shit I don't like a bookworm and an outsider <laughs> yeah <laughs> Corso knows all of the best places that uh, yeah, uh, a tourist would want to see so that won't be a problem I, at all Yes, yes, we we, we could we, we could take a a, a few rounds. Uh, I, I could show you the the uh, the adventurers guild, the um, the the airport, the um, the central academy. Mm -hmm. um, we can go to. Well, you you already know the port, and yes. I'm gonna show you the <laughs> the our. Uh, famous uh, network of uh, Magic Train, which is, uh, we're very proud of it. It's very fast. I'm very secure. I would love to ride the train. It's very quaint. It's very quaint by your standards, man. Uh, I'm not but sure how I feel very about seeing enough. the Adventurers Guild, and I do need to see the Academy, but that can be the last place we go to. Mm. Oh, yeah, I have, course, a, I have a meeting later. Um, of course, we 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 can start at the airport. We're already at the airport. The... Oh, you said port. You said port. No, I said port. airship so... port. Oh, oh, oh. Then then the other port. The the the, the port port. <laughs> okay, the the regular port. Okay, exactly, exactly, exactly. The the ship ship port. Exactly. That is on the other side of the uh, of the continent. <clears throat> so, All right. Uh, well. I have an idea for this one. We'll see what happens. <laughs> You're going to make me roll per, per zone to see how much shit I can come up with? Yes. <laughs> I fucking knew it, dude. And we're also going to have Spec roll something as well. Oh, Since Morthos oh, doesn't yes. know anything, we'll have Spec roll something different. Um, oh. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, you, you take her to the train... Mm -hmm. Which she is excited about because they don't really. While Kokostia is technologically advanced, they don't really have tr they don't have uh, Magitech trains. They're closer to mm -hmm. regular trains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that as much. That's that's why I said, well, I'll tell you my favorite that they don't really have the the, the power source to have everything with Magitech. Yeah. So they so you set off for the train and then you you lead Soriara and her attendant along. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think now for her to to, to get on the uh, the uh, what's right. it called? Yeah. No. No. Right. It's like not not wagon, but the, the cabin. I forgot the the specific word of a, of a section of a train. I think it is called a cabin. Yeah, a cabin. Well, one of the cabins. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> first up, uh, the train is relatively safe, so <clears throat> you you can ride the train to the other port. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
uh, fairly safe, and now you'll have to tell her something about it. Yeah. Well, <sighs> like and based on what you say, magic that'll decide technology. how bad the role needs to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, magic technology is one of the proudest achievements of Arcadia. Uh, it's been 200 years since its discovery, and uh, since then, there has been major improvements, especially with energy um, uh, distribution and energy purity that allows us to move uh, a lot of machinery uh, with a very low amount of energy. So it's very efficient, energy efficient that way. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, type of transportation was decided uh, for all people uh, to be free, mainly because there's a lot of people that come here to study that don't have access to monetary uh, stipends that allow them to pay daily for um, there's a lot of scholarship people that come here, so they, we decided as a country to provide whatever we can to increase the quality of life of people here so they can focus their efforts. You kind of see her, uh, her, her fading a little bit as she's losing focus <laughs> and interest. Morthos is locked in, just so you know. Morthos <laughs> is like, oh, this is really interesting. I didn't know about yeah, this. I, I her attendant is taking notes, though. Over. Her attendance is taking notes, but she herself, her eyes have glazed over. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, I went and she'll, she'll actually there. she'll interrupt you and be like, "Is there anything fun to do?" Well, we have uh, we have had discoveries pretty much every other week here, uh, whether those are breakthrough or uh, proof of uh, prior concepts. Uh, however, if if you would specify, would mean uh, more specifically with with that request. It you don't you don't know what fun is uh fun like drinking parties ah, taverns uh -huh. with a lot of people <clears throat> well entertainment you, you i see, imagine you have uh, a lot of entertainment in this city you see entertainment here is based on knowledge uh and most of uh Entertainment uh, sort of department is uh, mostly focused on the improvement of knowledge and uh, the learning process. So most of the fun, uh, I'm going to go with my, my, my fingers quoting, like fun activities are uh, based on that. So if, 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 if you question me about uh, shows as I'm gathering or, or, or drinking, I I would have to say that uh, I I imagine there are uh, those things happening. I know the the adventurers guild has that. <clears throat> However, in a more popular, um, in a more cultural, uh, like behavior here in Arcadia, it that's that's not the main focus. Morthos, how about you? She just interrupts you. <laughs> what do you do for fun around here? <clears throat> Yes. Well, uh, I, you know, mostly I, I'm, I'm just a, a guard, so uh, we, we don't make a, a ton to have fun. But uh, there should be some sort of. Well, surely a guard you know, would know a lot about the city, right? Like a like a like a market. I, I not. I not very 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 gently. It's like should yeah, be a go, market go, go. market street <laughs> with you know all kinds of interesting. Performers, a market. Okay, let's maybe I'll find something interesting to buy. Let's take me there, but I don't want to yeah, ride the train again. No, I'd no, rather see the you? city. <laughs> oh, <shit. Okay. laughs> well, then, then we need to go to this station and I push a button to to let the uh, the uh, the driver that we're. Well, the, the system, really, that would go in that way so they can change lanes. <laughs> I kind of assumed you were off the train considering you went to the port. Did we? I don't know if we arrived. I think we were still well, riding on the thing. The thing is, in my conception of the magic train, there are certain like uh, ways that go directly to certain places so you can't really get out of it midway. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. very fast, but for being that fast, it needs direct weights to certain parts. There. Well, you you get off at the at the closest station, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, roll. 
Roll yeah. willpower plus insight. Uh, okay. <laughs> Corso. <laughs> Fair enough. You kept her entertained in a way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, you'll start traveling to the Merchant District, which you happen to have visited earlier, conveniently enough. Yay! We're not going to get lost, probably. <laughs> I need Morthos to roll a d6. Ooh. A d6? She's yes. going to grab your butt, dude. Yeah. And she does a middling job of it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing of interest happens along the way. You see darts and the, the normal sort... Mm -hmm. As you're wandering to the merchants. You arrive in the merchant district and she looks around and she goes, "Mm, this is eerily similar to how it is back home. I mean, it isn't as fancy as I imagined it would be. What's what's out here? Is there anybody like juggling swords or something? Uh... Are they to be completely someone? honest, Arcadia, I guess, in, in that way, it's well, kind of Well, you kind of went to the merchant's district and not, like, the entertainment district. Yeah. But well, basically, so it's mainly just it. shops and stuff. Oh, there's nobody outside, like, advertising there? Well, there's, like, peddlers and stuff outside, but they're, they're oh. peddling in the sense of selling items. Like, they do have some neat, like, you'll see people like, oh, buy this magic ring here, or buy this bracelet okay. that keeps tells you what time the sun sets or something like that. Oh, look, sorry, they got uh magic rings. They I don't do you have those in uh Krakosia? Well, well Martha does that. I, I get close to 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 a person or or a kid and ask a kid. <laughs> do you know where, where where fun stuff are like shows and, and stuff in the city? <laughs> tell them. You, you know the station. I might. Uh, tell, tell. Okay. How about oh, no. how about how about how about five? Would you know for five? Mm. Five could get me a night in a room, but not a good meal. How about ten? Are you getting hustled by a child? Yeah, but I'm <laughs> fucked. <it. So laughs> plus, I have no conception of money, like the real like value of money. So I'm I'm, I'm fucking myself. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Tin's not that. Why don't you give me whatever you have in there, and then I'll tell you. I bring Sori over to the to the you know vendor with the I, what I assume are very pretty looking rings, even if they actually don't really do anything at all. Well, it's very the, similar to the scene in fucking Baldur's Gate <clears throat> with the little kids. <laughs> one's get one's hustling Corso, and the other one's selling fake rings that do nothing. Uh, I'm gonna say, well, well, kid, you're just a little ten, uh, and, I, and I go to to ask the guard. <laughs> well, you, the guard was standing nearby, yeah, and I you weren't the, very uh, quiet about it, so he overheard yeah. your conversation, and he's kind of chuckling as you walk up. Yeah, uh, I I don't want to seem like I'm bribing you, sir, but uh, I, I'm 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 a pickle. I need to show this uh, this important person uh, uh, a good show of our city. And to be honest, look at me. I'm I'm sort of bookworm. I say uh, you're sort of something. Yeah, I say, look, uh, that one's blue. <laughs> she looks at him. Mm, yes, very pretty. Uh, w- would you would you help Would you help a guy here? Well, dragon. <laughs> Would you tell me it's something that is fun? You're, you're you're trying to get to the entertainment district. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, Did what's you think the name to of look station? on the map at the stations? Oh, they have those there. Okay, okay. What's what's, what's the name of the zone? Uh, I don't remember the station. Uh, yeah. It's the entertainment district. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Thank Similar very much. to how this one's called the market district, and the academy's the academy uh-huh. district. It would make sense. It would make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Should, Absolutely. Try yeah. to trick you with the names. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Thank you for <laughs> protecting and serving. <laughs> um, and I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to discreetly <laughs> go back to the group. Well, 
I think we've seen uh, quite enough of, of the Merchant District. Uh, I think uh, mm. you would be pleased to to get to know the uh, Entertainment District. Mm. She barely bought any rings. Well, maybe they weren't as sophisticated as she might be uh, used to. So oh. I, I would understand oh. that she, mm. she doesn't want to invest in, in certain items. Uh, how, how about Lady, do, Lady R? Do, do you want to proceed to Entertainment District? I would like to proceed to the Entertainment District, which is okay. where I was hoping Excellent. we would have went when I asked for entertainment. But and, uh, and I am going fault. to purchase one of these. Fault. I am going to p- purchase one of these rings here, though, just as a souvenir of the time we've spent here. Oh yeah, look, of course. I look to I see have, which one. Which I, one I, would, I would like to. I, I would like to uh, say uh, we we know a very fine establishment. Uh, Senor Gu uh, attends uh, that uh, that that store, and it is right over there. It is one of my kin, and he has been more than kind all of these years with us. Oh, you're related to him, and she. No, not... but our kin, oh, our kin always uh, relate to each other in the way of evolution and in the way of how we all face adversity. I'm drowning. <laughs> Adver- adversity what adversity could a half dragon face don't you have the biggest empire on the west or on the eastern continent but as I said before for us uh, to live in Arcadia is to face the adversity of ignorance the face of obscurity of knowledge so we all face that together It's a very nice shop. Why don't we just walk over? <laughs> <laughs> she buys the blue ring you pointed out earlier before walking away. And she goes, no, I'm not interested in an accessory shop. Take me to the entertainment district. Oh, okay. Uh, we yes. go back. But remember, the, no train. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely <sighs> ring. <laughs> yeah. I I, uh, I go uh, to one of the, uh, well, taxis. <laughs> they're, they're sort of like, a, what's it called? Those uh, Thai... Um, Jeep beeps, something like that <laughs> sounding. They're like oh, a guy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I know what you're is talking it, about. Does it float or something? Is it, is it, is it Magitech? Uh, sure. I, I don't Morpho's want to push asking. Like, sure, it's asking all, himself. Yeah. It, it floats? It's anti-gravity? Well, well they, they use... Uh, Very low magitech. anti-gravity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have we wheels, but it does it. go. But it goes. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. I... I, I uh, I, I signal one of them, and, and and I bring our entire entourage to 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 get in. She kind of sighs, and she <clears throat> just says, "Does no one in Arcadia believe in walking anywhere?" Well, it's in the other side of the uh, of this main part of the city, so it would be like I, I'll calculate. I'm just right now. I'm bullshitting. I, mm-hmm. I would say forty minutes walking. That's a long way. That's a long walk, you know. Fine. I don't, she'll, uh, I don't know. Uh, you know. She'll, uh, she'll hop aboard the. Uh... God, what are they named now? Magic Jeep Jeep. <laughs> this is great. I'll make sure it's safe, and I I want to <laughs> specifically look underneath it to see that it's floating. It. it it is floating. Wow. You hop in the Magitech. I don't want to stick my hand on, in it or anything. <laughs> well, I do want to, but I'm not going to. Okay. Yeah. And I hop in. Yep. And uh, I'll need Morthos to roll a d6. <laughs> One, two, three. What? Is it doing it? Oh. What's happening? Oh, okay. That that could be very good or very bad. We win. We found a bunch of money while we were riding in the jeep jeep. Mm. Oh, all the 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 change that is below the uh, the cushion. The the tuk the seat. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, tuk tuk. Yeah. A tuk tuk. Yeah. Okay. That was the thing. What was I the don't thing know. I, I don't think those are the. That's the name no? of like the motorized ones. 
I don't know what the names of the ones people pull are. Oh, though. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those. No, the, oh, yeah, they're all motorized. Yeah, you're right. I, I don't remember the other ones. Uh, but yeah, no, those were the ones I was thinking about. <clears throat> Give me a second. Sure. It's a call because of the sound. It's a cylinder engine. Tuk, 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 tuk. That's why they're called tuk tuks. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Just, uh, just give me a second real quick. Mm -hmm. Why are washing machines so fucking expensive, dude? They just wash. I really like the music. It's very soothing. Yeah. Mm hmm. <clears throat> okay so as you're going down uh on this taxi you he takes you down sort of a back alley of sorts um oh, shit. okay well it's not we something better, you'd so. normally go down you don't think, uh, as it's a little, little grungier, a little more dirty than most of the city. And, uh, <clears throat> it's 
so uh, as you're traveling down, there's a slight commotion in the road ahead of you. A few people seem to be standing there, and the taxi comes to a uh, not screeching halt because it floats, but a halt. Mm-hmm. And uh, some some ruffians come out and approach the taxi, and they say, uh, "Your money or your life." And they're holding big wrenches that they're smacking against their head hands. How many? How many are there? Uh, just a couple. Uh, I'm gonna look at. Two. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the mortals. Uh-huh. Uh I'm gonna take my eye shotgun. Out. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We're we're gonna step out and handle this. <clears throat> I'm gonna cock it. Two. Uh, yeah, okay. I've got to set yours up. Hold on. No, Morthos! He's no! fucking dead! Oh, fuck! <laughs> you got reverse he's a guy, dude. Oh, sh- Oh, no, uh, wait, wait, so wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm in real life now. <laughs> fuck! No! The no! worst. The worst place you could have ever go back. Oh, no. You're going to get a day job. Oh, you need to pay taxes, dude. Fuck! <laughs> <sighs> I have to, um, I want to, I want to step out of the, the carriage and, uh, I take my, my great spear out. And uh, I want to say, uh, gentlemen, I think there's been a misunderstanding here. Uh, your money or your life. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking oh hit him with God. it. <laughs> the you in a reverse car, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you. Uh, no, you. Exactly. Uh, fucking hold on a second. I forgot to set these tokens up correctly. Also, god damn it, Bobby. I'll roll initiative. Yeah, go for it. Oh, okay. My initiative didn't roll very good. Oh, good. Of course, those got oh, me. Damn. That's a lot, dude. Yeah. Wow. What happened to mine? Yeah, what happened to mine? That's all that I'm also asking that. <laughs> Can you see their guys? help bars? Yeah. Okay. What are these guys? Yeah. I looked up Final Fantasy Six Bandit and apparently these are bandits in Final Fantasy Six. Yeah, yeah they're, they're also called Goobers or uh um, Goobers. <laughs> well the other names of those or Ranch something. Those are those are fantastic, dude. Roofings. Couple of goobers. Yeah, those are the ones that that appear at Zozo, so they're they're very fitting. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're rolling initiative then. Yep. And what'd you what'd you both roll? I rolled bad. I roll a 6, I roll a 15. 15 is more than good enough. So you guys get to go first. Let me... God, I added something to this. There it is. Ooh! Those brigands up there. Oh, Um, shit. Oh wow, and it even like shows which one's which like that. That that's awesome. Yeah. So I think I can God, 
can I not? Okay. Mm. Have to get it. <sighs> okay. So first up is uh, your team. Mm -hmm. So it can be either Corso or Morthos. Since now we know our styles, uh, Morthos is probably going to go first most of the time, unless we're already hurt. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, I will use uh, Shadow Strike on this one. Okay. So, uh, which one? Uh, Sorry. This one. Okay. So you're you Shadow be, Striking. Um, Wait, what 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 did you do to the turn order stuff? Uh, I just made it to where you were. The one. You made it where I'm what? Where you were the one currently going. Which means this guy would be going next technically, I guess. This one yeah. Here. Yeah, I want I want to hit the one that's going after Corso on the off chance that we can do enough to kill him <clears throat> before he can go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that should be... Let me double check. So I think I have to roll a might dice. Yeah. So that's a d10. Okay. I don't know what the plus just did. Interesting. All right. All right, so I lose two health, and then I'm going to attack him. Uh, how do I do an attack again? Uh, you just roll. You you should just be able to click on it. Yeah, you go to equipment. And yeah. you you have your your weapons equipped, uh, and okay. there's some uh, yeah. dice on the right side. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Is he dead? Oof. Oof. Unfortunately, no. Sad. Moving on. Yeah. <clears throat> Unfortunately. Uh yeah yeah uh you know shadow swirls around my spear and I kind of like make the lunge for him but he's he's too fast he's just too fast in the alley it's a little bit it's a little, it's kind of close quarters and it's yeah. hard to move the move the spear around you know oh yeah absolutely oh yeah oh that's what we could do like further on the the adventure I can make you a fucking spear dude a magitic spear spear really looking forward to it. He's duplicated now. There's two of him. Okay. No. <laughs> so it's going to be this brigand's turn. He's going to attempt to bonk you with his axe wrench. Yeah. Oh, axe wrench. Sounds, uh -huh. am sounds amazing, dude. Almost got me. Yeah, unfortunately, he just, uh, yeah, you can describe how you parried his hit, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, you know, sort of, like he's, like, kind of coming at me, and I uh, kind of, like, quickly, like, move my spear, like, in front of him, so he's, like, kind of gets thrown back a little bit because he doesn't want to run into my spear, and I'm like, oh, 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 and kind of send him back a little bit. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 you better watch out. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> you better be quicker than that. That's right. So next up is Corso. Uh, I'm going to attack this guy. Okay. 
Where my boomstick? Hmm. Oh. Okay. Well, after had, having slid out of the way of the spear that was coming at him, he's still in that sort of sliding motion. And uh, okay. you sort of shot where he was, not where he's going to be. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. And, uh, yeah, uh, that's good, right? All right. Well, he's going to try and uh, smack Morthos. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and he's going to miss also. Oh, she the rolls all around. I like it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's it's even and out. Yeah, I feel like it's just even. a close alley, and uh, they're kind of like they're kind of bumping into each other, and like they weren't really expecting us to get out in the alley and just yeah. fight them on the spot. So, like uh, the sound of the of the magic uh, magic cannon is a bit loud, so we're all kind of flinchy. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Yeah. I- Forgot I took you off because I deleted that other token to update it. All right, so it is Morthos's turn. Yeah, I'm gonna, that's who wants to go. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna channel my uh, my shadow strike once again, uh, but this time for real. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That hurts a lot. All right. <laughs> my, my life energy, uh, you know, exits my body and joins with the shadow. Uh, and, you know, there's blood in my eyes. And I, I make a leaping strike. Uh, at this one again. Once again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that, is that, that hits, right? That hits. Oh, thank hey. God. All right. And he gets extra eight damage. So that or, is 27 damage. Unless he takes more because it's dark. I don't know if he's... Uh, maybe he's really weak to dark and he just explodes. Yeah, he looks like a, like a not. creature of the light. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can see the light right here from him. Yeah. No. The healthy boy. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> Ready to pay yet? Okay. You'll be. <laughs> you know, I, I will be dead in the ground before we ever give you anything. Mm. That's rude. Have it your way. So he's gonna. He's he's not too worried about the the dragon that can't aim over there, so he's gonna come after. <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> Ooh. That one hits. That one hits. Yeah. For eighteen damage. Ouch. My body, or you know whatever he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he did he hit me with the did he hit me with the wrench or the axe? <laughs> he hit you with the wrench axe. But which side was he? The was sharp he side. Ah shit. It's just a wrench that's been sharpened on one side to... <laughs> so... Oh damn. <laughs> Times are rough, dude. <laughs> damn budget bandits, piece of shit. <laughs> uh Goddamn budget bandits. <laughs> <laughs> Wish bandits. <laughs> That's true. Of yep. Of course, it's turn. Okay, I'm gonna again. I'm gonna try to hit him with the magic cannon. Come on, come on. God fucking damn it! Big hit. He just sort of steps out of the way again. And laughs like they didn't teach you anything up in that fancy academy of yours. You can't aim, huh? It's just just getting warm. It's getting warm. Dude. It's just getting warm. 
Okay. <laughs> well, he's gonna he's gonna move away from Morthos there, who uh, hurt him a oh, little. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! My oh. body. <laughs> oh, he hits <laughs> just barely. <laughs> And you take 16 damage. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I felt that. I'm squishy. Mm-hmm. Mm. You didn't take 16 damage, Spec. I know. Corso did. Oh, okay. You're at 32? Yeah. Every time I do Shadow Strike, it, it drains life, so... All right, <laughs> more <of> those. <laughs> right. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna hit him with a regular attack this time. Okay. Uh, no, I'll just never mind. I'll, you know, I'll just go for it. It should, it'll, it'll probably be fine. Gosh. It'll. It's probably. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fine. Everything's great here. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> Yeah, Shadow Striking. Here we go. Yeah, see? It's not even that bad. All right, cool. And so I have entered Crisis. Yep. And I choose him as... uh, Your Bond of Hatred? My Bond of Hatred. Um, He's a brigand. Okay. And you could see the hate in my eyes and the shadows, you know, it's it's this it's larger than the other shadow was. You know? The shadow's Big bigger shadow. and angrier. That's right. Is it did it hit? Yes, that hits. Oh hi. Taking twenty five points of damage. Yeah. Oh, boy. And I get to heal a little small amount. I get to heal Two. Putting me right at half health. Let's go. Which means you're still in crisis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, he's now in crisis. Well beyond crisis, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's, he's, he's not happy about it. He's got quite the bad temper. Ooh. Damn. Damn. Well, this guy is going to try and whack you since you're over there beating up on his friend. Mm -hmm. Get away from my friend. He hits. For 18 damage. Mm -hmm. Corso. I'm going to move my arms to activate my magic network. And I'm going to cast heal on the both of us. Healing us 40 hit points. 40. Yeah. <laughs> 40. <laughs> yeah, I can't heal for less, unfortunately. <laughs> I know. That's great. Almost saw me off. All right. You're no longer in crisis, but you mm-hmm. still have the bond of hatred already created. So. Mm-hmm. Well, this one, he's, he's about dead, so he's going to... He's gonna yawn, and uh, no, that's me. Uh, he's gonna try and hit Corso, who he just saw do some fancy magic stuff. He's gonna miss Corso, who he saw do some fancy magic stuff. Yeah, yeah, the lights of my uh, light spectacle that just blinded him. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Back to Morthos. Yeah. Uh, I tell him, uh, you know, you have no chances left. And I swing at him again. That's a hit. hit. Hey. He collapses. You see a sort of panicked look in his friend's eye. Mm -hmm. Will you make the same mistake? And I kind of like point the great spear at him. He'll he'll toss his weapon down. He says, this ain't worth it. And then he'll 
run off, leaving his friend behind. The money! The money! <laughs> <laughs> the money. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I, I check if there's any more of these uh, uh, brigands around. No, it looks like these were the only two. Okay. From what you can gather. Uh, you both earn an experience, though. Hey! Because you beat them within five rounds. Oh, nice. Are, are you keeping track of that, or are you telling us right now? Oh, I'm telling on, you on right now. Uh, add it to your experience. Nice. Okay. We, we should have the same. How, how many do you have, Spec? Nine. Oh, nine. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Um... Is it common to 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 loot? In this yeah, game? you can loot. Not everything's gonna have something, but you can loot these guys if you want. Yeah, he's looting. unconscious. Yeah, I'm gonna unless I'm gonna, I'm unless gonna you wanted to kill him. No, 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 no need it, especially in front of the lady. <laughs> well, I'm talking about Morthos with his strike. Oh, right, right, right. He was a bandit, and he did threaten. And I'm like, ah, it'll be, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. I'll just take your shit. What's he got? Okay. Uh, he has a shield, he does. a oh. axe wrench, which is the equivalent of a broad axe, and oh. the clothes he's wearing, which are travel garbs. He can keep his clothes. I'll take the other things, and I'll okay. give one of them. I give one of them to Corso. Do you want to take the axe that was left behind, also, by the other guy when he ran off? Oh yeah, yeah I'll take, yeah. Yeah, I'll take the other the other axe. Uh, you you get one axe, I get the other one. Okay. And uh, yeah, and then and then yeah, and then I have the shield. Uh, sorry, are those in the normal items? Yeah, broad X is at the top of weapons, and the shield okay. is just a bronze shield. Okay, okay, okay. Let me put those in here. I just thought it was neat to call it a wrench X since the yeah the no, things it, were it, holding it, wrenches. It is. it is okay. But the actual like the actual item they're carrying is a broad X. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna go hop back in the carriage, yeah. and yeah. uh, I, I wipe my blood off the broad axe, and I say, "Oh, <clears throat> did you want a souvenir?" <laughs> She's just like, you, get... the the attendant and the taxi driver have looks of terror on their face, but um, sorry, seems." Strangely okay with what's happening, mm-hmm. and she's actually she says that was quite riveting. Ah, she's and found the entertainment where we least expected it. Indeed. Uh, no, you can you can hang on to the axe. I don't believe they'd let me carry it on the airship with me. Oh. Yeah, perhaps the bronze shield. Yeah, I uh, can it like move it so it's like shiny. While he's doing this, I'm moving the body out of the middle of the stream <laughs> towards this side. <laughs> yeah, that's valid. Okay. Um, yeah, well, she'll go, you know what? <laughs> she'll she'll snap yeah. her fingers and go, attendant, take the shield. Maybe I'll use it as a serving tray when I get home. I give I give her the shield. Okay, so you no longer have the bronze shield. It's gone. But you have an extra axe you can sell now. I do. Uh, Alright. So you continue on to the um, entertainment district. But as you get there, she sees like the, she looks overhead and she goes, that unfortunate stop did cost us quite a bit of time. I do need to get to the academy before the day is over with. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, however, I, I will have to insist that the magic train is the, the fastest way there, so you can take advantage of the uh, the moment and have a look around here before uh, taking the, the transportation. There's fewer Very alleyways well. also on the train. <laughs> well, that may be true. I expected the city to be safer than it is, but that's okay. And so she'll well, hop on the train with you, and you can take her to the academy safely and sound and intro you know you get to the academy and drop her off at the door where you see a familiar face lounging around 
<laughs> I don't know. My coach doesn't know what to do. It's like he's embarrassed as fuck. It's like he wanted to get, go away, but everything keeps making him come back to the fucking academy. You see a familiar, small, red-headed woman. <sighs> oh, oh, her. Okay. Yeah, okay. her. Okay. I thought it was one of the uh, one of the uh, the sages. So it was like, oh shit. And you you see her, mm-hmm. and she's. She notices you guys dropping off someone, and she goes, "Who was that?" Uh, she was Lady Yara. Lady Yara. Yeah, she is okay. from the uh, the United Provinces of uh, Krukosia. We have no idea. We just uh, are escorting her. Okay. Well, I have to go back to the Adventures uh, Guild. Would you like to escort me? Oh, we need to wait for her. <laughs> Oh, but, well, we have to because we have to take her back to the to the hotel. <laughs> was that part of the mission? Uh, I don't know. No, it was uh, just to get her to the academy at the end uh, of the day. Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh I thought, she I she thought, can get I she could get to the just, yeah. Didn't want to. No, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> you could treat that as part of the mission as you want. <laughs> oh no 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 no! It wasn't the mission yet. Oh yeah yeah sure we we can we can go with you. We're done. We have to go to the uh, adventure skill anyway. Yeah. We Great. Just finish this one up. Yeah. So as you're as you're traveling with her, uh, she's excitedly chattering about some news that happened. Uh, she goes, "Did you hear about the attack?" What wolves again? No. No. <laughs> was it was it bandits? No, there was a pirate attack. Apparently, some ship that was delivering something to the council was attacked and when was this yesterday while we were dealing with the wolves oh okay well at least it's not today and i look at both of us this is not today (laughs) it would have been been very regrettable that it was today when we were saying we will protect you from this guy from this from from the pirates do you know what they were transporting that would move uh, them to target? Something the something the council's interested in, some sort of key or something. I don't know exactly. They didn't tell me, but luckily, it being stolen uh, really took the heat off of me yesterday. That was that was very nice. They did not care as much about the wolves getting loose as I expected them to. Well, that that's good, I guess. Uh, would I ever heard like heard anything about a key? Well, was it the, uh, uh, you could roll double insight. Double insight, okay. And I'll give you a plus two for being okay. an academy student. Oof. Mid. Damn, I thought that was an eight, not a two. Yeah, mid. Absolutely. Uh, mid. You know what? Sure, that's, that's good enough. With the plus two, that's a ten. Oh. Uh, okay. So that's good enough. Yeah, you, your, your master may have mentioned in passing that a key, an artifact that they believe to be a key that opens a port, a gateway, uh, is being shipped from. Uh, damn, I don't remember the name. The Sugondes, now the Shimsaland Empire. <laughs> nice. Okay, Shimsaland. Yes. It's not believed to do anything else other than open this portal, which, but it is still considered an artifact because it's kind of one of a kind, and they believe the portal is a gateway to hell. Um, did she say that? No, this, oh, is just what, this is what Corso is recalling. Ah, okay, okay. Mm. Uh, I, just, uh, having... I recall, I recall, like I say, I recall her, my, my um, my master telling me something about a uh, about a, an artifact that I believe it was, she called a key that mm. allowed to open a portal to outer another dimension. Hell, I think she said. <clears throat> mm. And that doesn't pique Morthos' is. interest at all. So yeah, <laughs> Morthos tries not to sound not to look that interested, but is. Probably failing. So. Um, 
And so Phelan will just, as you're, you know, internally talking about this, Phelan keeps chattering on about, she's like, yeah, I have to go back to the guild to set up another quest, but this time it's not for me. Uh, they really want someone to go get that key. Yeah, someone should get that key. I mean, it's a yeah, it's an important I'm, I'm, key, is what it sounds like. My, my character is torn because he he doesn't want to do anything for the academy. <laughs> well, you don't necessarily have to accept the quest to go get the key oh, for the true. academy, but I, I oh, imagine I more so. Mm-hmm. Morthos might at least want the key. Yeah. Oh. Well, he doesn't say that. No. I'm guessing. No. Well, uh, we maybe will bump into them whenever we go deal with the pirate problem later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you uh, get I, back. I asked very... oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No. No, no. I asked very casually. Um, like, um, what's the the time frame on that uh, request? I. I don't know. I guess first come, first serve. Whoever does it, does it. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Time to not look interested either. <laughs> I'm failing. <laughs> so, Phelan, what were those wolves for, anyways? Oh. You know, hmm? the zoology department wanted them to investigate. I remember it was cryptozoology. Yes. They didn't seem special. Well, I mean, they're they're monsters. Wolves don't typically get that big. Though we were pretty big, weren't they? Yeah, they were big boys. Yeah. <laughs> and they butt pretty hard. <laughs> I yeah. remember one of them running away, <laughs> or else we would have been <laughs> absolutely dead. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Those were uh, whoa, whoa, quite surprising. Beautiful animals. Yeah, they're all safe now, though, thanks to you two. But I have to get, turn in and get this quest up on the board. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll see you around. Be safe, Phelan. Yes, you too. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, so that happens. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and we're walking nonchalantly towards the, uh, the desk. Okay. Then you go to one of the empty counters that... Uh, yeah. To say, we did it. Yeah. We did it. Another quest finished. Good job. Here's Thank the reward you. for that one, and she hands you 200 gold. A piece. I'm oh. Glad. Damn. Okay. Yeah, she threw in a little extra because apparently you protected her from bandits. That's true. That did happen, and I show the show the the you know axe wrench. And that's your third quest completed. Congratulations! One more, and you'll hit the next rank. Hell yeah! <sighs> I. I don't remember this if this was it, but did the um, the the um, the virtual skill had a sort of shop where we can sell shit? Sure, just a like a general goods shop. Okay. To restock. Uh, I want to sell the uh, yeah. I want to sell the uh, the axe. Okay. Yeah. You get half its value. Okay. Oh. Okay. So you get a hundred and twenty-five. Yeah, hundred and twenty-five. Mm-hmm. I will do the same. Yeah, and now you've been informed that one more quest will increase your rank, which would allow you to accept new quest. Oh, okay. hell yeah. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So, I don't know. The only thing we've really left to do right now is uh, you can deal with the rogue mage. Mm-hmm. Uh, you do. You do now have an acquaintance that you've met who resides oh, yeah. in Kirkostia for most of the time. Mm-hmm. And I'll probably design an actual character thing for her later. Uh, and okay. then you know that the ship guard quest wants to take you to Kirkostia. Yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking just that. Nice. Yeah. And you also know that they, they face pyrotech, so three birds, one stone. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> it's all coming together, you know? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, all yeah, working yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, dude. Okay, bonds. Uh, where, where's the bonds? Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, you're taking a rest. Lady Yara. Lady Yara? Yes, sorry, Yara. Hmm. Sorry, Yara from... There's now a new quest on the board, though. Unfortunately, you have to be a little higher rank than you currently are. Uh, And by little higher, I mean one. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is the quest. To... uh, to retrieve the artifact. I mean, we strictly speaking, we are going that way anyway, sort of. I think yeah. we will have to do the. You, we the, might have to. Is the rogue mage on the way? The rogue mage is just in the city. He's in the city. He's in the city. So you don't you don't necessarily have to do the rogue mage one if you don't want to. Okay. Um, but you can't accept that uh, the next quest until you hit the next level. So you can either accept that quest, or you can either do the rogue mage one, hit the next level, accept the, the third quest, or the main quest rather, or you can just go straight to Kokostia and get that quest completed and still hit the next level. I. My opinion, I th- well, we, yeah. Hmm. I mean, we could always like go and just like uh, do the ship guard thing, and then do that, and then like once we turn that in, that'll be the one that we need anyways. And if we had the key, you know, and we wanted to turn it in, uh, then we'd be high enough to take it. And we just. Yeah, just, yeah. We just, we just oh, hey, oh, 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 here it is. Yeah, I would take, yeah, I would take uh, the, the ship guard's mission and the main one. Uh, and then when we come back, if it's still available, the rogue mage. Oh, but you said we can accept it anyway. You can accept the rogue mage. You can't accept the main story quest right now. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh! My opinion is going uh, with the ship guards because we we need to <laughs> we need to uh, we don't want to lose uh, our reputation shouldn't suffer for <laughs> for bullshitting too much. Mm-hmm. I think we should do the ship guards because we're going to face pirates. We might get the chance to like interrogate one. Yeah. If the situation arises, so yeah. we can get more information about the pirates while yeah. we do this. And plus, you know, time is probably of the essence for this key thing. Yeah. And there are other, uh, like, adventure skilled offices. So if we, we are high enough, when we arrive at the other city, we might be able to, to accept the, the main one. Hmm. That's a good point. Right, right. So we're gonna, so we're gonna, we're gonna tap, we're gonna tap our, our, our cards on the, on the uh, ship guards quest. Yeah. Look. 
uh, I, I'm asking. We're well, I'm Brielle, I said we're we're a team now, so yeah, might as well make a decisions together. Well, let's well, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tap the uh, sheep guards. Mm-hmm. And Rob, I don't know if you have this part prepared, so like we can always. Mm, I have the travel prepared. Yeah. Okay. I have the travel prepared, and I have uh, the mage thing prepared, but that's about it. As far as, like, I don't have much prepared once you actually get to the other continent. Other well, than we, the, can, we can take a small standard hiatus. Outline. Yeah. We can take a small hiatus, uh, like, while we, we, we go hard on <laughs> on uh, Baldur's Gate, and then mm. we, we can resume. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to. What the hell? I'm gonna be honest. Mm-hmm. Last session, I said this is fun, mm-hmm. but this session, it, it is. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm finding this game very, very amusing, very fun, and mm-hmm. funny at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I didn't think I would laugh so loudly <laughs> with this game. <laughs> because on the outside, if you look at it, it looks kind of kawaii, kind of cute. But the game itself is fantastic. Dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, when I, when I saw the... the um, Oh, I forgot the word. English hard. The cover of the uh, of the book. It looked like sort of Grand Fantasia sort of thing. Yeah. But it's not. All right. Yeah, we're doing it. I am currently... Making something new real quick. Hold on. I'm making a new enemy at the moment. Yeah, no, it's perfectly fine. Yeah, it won't take but a second. Because <laughs> I'm just repurposing the bandits we just fought to be pirates. But that means I'm changing the weapons and stuff out. Yeah. They probably have rapiers. I wasn't going to give them rapiers, but they could, I guess. <laughs> what do they use? Oh, cutlass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Got those made. Yeah, so you meet up with the captain. And he says, So you lads looking to sign on, huh? If you got room uh, for us, I think our abilities could be of use. I think they're good too. Y'all seem to like the the capable. Well, 
You mm-hmm. seem capable, at least in this line of duty. What? They, they point Morphos? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I put my hind inside my, my item bag and get out of my shook and, and I cock it. <laughs> <laughs> and again, twee. The charge of the coils. We work well together. Okay. So you'll want the and I put it, yeah, and I put it back. <laughs> I don't want them to feel that we're <laughs> actually trying to do anything. Fair enough. All right, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't have much in the way of offering, but you know, a free ride's a free ride, right? True. Fair enough. enough. I'm checking my my um. Uh, my my device for the adventure skill to check if this oh yeah that that was the reward. <laughs> yeah. I, I was like uh, confiding with Morthos. Oh yeah, sure. I thought they were gonna pay something. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. Free ride, free ride. Yeah, free ride. Here, uh. So he leads you to the docks. And he goes, now there's nothing else y'all need doing before we leave, right? So it's going to take us a few days to get there. Uh, oh, do we need something? I don't think so. Yeah, in this game, you don't really need, like, buying shit. No, no, we don't. My character doesn't need anything. Yeah, I don't need anything either. Okay. Then, uh, yeah. So you head out to sea. Leaving. Oh, we have, did we rest, by the way? Or we did went straight to towards the <laughs> You can no, rest if you want. Yeah, we actually did, and we were like, fuck it. <laughs> Go yeah, I, n- I know you didn't, but you can if you want to. Well, I, I would appreciate it because uh, I spent 20 M- MP. Well, uh, we need- I, I, yeah, I, I forgot the uh, the rules for um, for resting. Yeah, so let's say uh, you rest. Um, So do we want to? You want to spend a Fabio point in retcon that you rested before you got on the ship? Uh, no. I'll, or do I'll you just want to rest on the ship? I'm gonna rest on the ship. Okay. So you rest on the ship throughout the day. Mm-hmm. Seems like it take a couple days anyway. So yeah. So you rest on the ship throughout the day, uh, which means you're you're healed back up. Your okay. your MP's full. Good deal. Um, you eat the the common food they serve on the ship, so there's no bonuses to be given there. Okay. I still pay and, attention uh, to, the, to the kitchen because I'm kind of bored. So. Yeah. I see how they prepare food and shit. <laughs> So you're, it's not just you, there's a couple other guards, uh, but you do it in sort of shifts of two, keeping looks at, lookouts. Um, Makes sense. So I will need you both to roll uh, double insight. Double insight. The best roll. <laughs> Get ready. Okay. So you notice, Morthos. Oh. Uh, you guys sort of have the the night shift covered, but you notice a fire, almost like lanterns coming up beside the ship that you didn't quite see at first. Hmm. And on this ship, 
You mm-hmm. noticed the cells, which are pure black. Mm. Except for a golden phoenix. We're expecting uh, extra visitors. <clears throat> what do you mean? Uh, gesture over the side. Do I recognize the uh, the symbol? Uh, yeah, it sounds familiar. Do I roll? <laughs> uh, well, you saw the quest. Right, you you read the other the quest to yeah. get the artifact back. Oh no 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 I didn't. Shadow destiny. Uh... Oh, so is this ship? Uh, Shamsel Empire logo. Well, it's not. It's you don't know the name of the pirates. You just know that the pirates had a black flag emblazoned with the gold phoenix. Oh oh okay okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that's what you mean. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I, I, I look at both of us. Do we raise the alarm? And I, and I just like scream, pirates! Pirates! Yeah. Tell someone. Do I see anything heavy nearby? Heavy? Yeah, like really heavy. I could like throw overboard and like, it's like. Is it? Is you said it was like a small ship, didn't you? Was it something I could punch a hole in? No, it's not a small ship. It's smaller than your ship, but it's not that much smaller. Oh, okay. We're gonna need it would be an attack. Yeah. So you you say that, and as you say that, people come rushing to the deck, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, you see a bit of something. I do not have any token in vision. Damn it, I forgot to give vision. <laughs> oh no, I'm blind! Oh shit. Oh, damn, dude. There we go. Oh fuck. That boat looks oh. a little bigger than I, than, I, than I first thought. I told you it wasn't that much smaller than your boat. No, 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 I don't think I can punch a hole in this one. Dude, those sprites are fucking amazing, dude. Yeah, those are the pirates from Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> oh shit, look at them. All right, so combat. Ah, initiative. Okay, okay. <laughs> Dude, you don't have negatives now. I, I know. There's no excuse. I, I don't. You're running very shitty. <laughs> What's going on? Dude? Well, the dice have not been kind uh, the, in, in this session. I have to say. You Unfortunately, got 18, but dude. they got the jump on you. It oh, seems shit. like it. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm just yep, rolling yep. for everybody to get them like in a certain, just to get them done. Yeah. Uh, that's actually kind of good enough. So you you uh. You see three pirates in particular that are that you feel like you're going to deal with. The other pirates are being handled by the other sailors and guards. Okay. Um, and it is their turn. So. Uh, so, so, so. I need another tracker out. Hold on. Open. Yeah, no rush. And then also don't forget about the superiority die. Okay. Can you refresh me a bit? Sure. I have to look it back up myself. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look too. Uh, it is. Whenever you deal damage to one or more enemies, if one or more of those enemies are vulnerable to the damage you deal, you gain a superiority point. When you suffer damage, if you are immune or absorb that damage type, you gain a superiority point. Whenever you roll a critical success, you gain a superiority point. Whenever you roll a fumble, the opposing team gains a superiority Ooh. point. You can spend one superiority point per turn. Uh, 
and you can spend a superiority point to perform an additional action. So oh, basically, like okay. two attacks and stuff like that. We oh, haven't wow. really had it become an. It, nobody's rolled like a critical success or a fumble or like done with any vulnerabilities or resistances yet. So it kind of hasn't been an issue. Hmm. Fair enough. All right. So. You'll notice, I don't know if you can see him or not. You probably can't. But there is a clock on this page. Uh, it has a it's four in it. And it's just backup. Okay. okay. Backup for who? Oh. Who knows? Backup for you, maybe? Backup for them? Oh, shit. Okay. Remove the backup right in there. I should be able to talk your First things first. Uh, currently, the ships are right beside each other. Okay. So this pirate is gonna attack Corso, and he's gonna uh, miss. Yeah, not quite on that one. Is it my turn? Yes. Yeah. Well, your turn or Corsair's turn, either one. Uh, we usually go. Um, Mortals goes first. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, I like the song, dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I just went back to the the regular battle one instead of the. They're a bit soft. The yeah, they are soft. Huge, uh, no, not not yeah. in terms of volume, but in terms of of, of melody. Mm-hmm. They're like a big oomph. Yeah. Okay, okay, so you're using the darkness. I am. Darkness flows through me, and I pick, uh, you know, this guy. This guy right here. How do I? This guy right here. Can, yeah. Okay. I'm going after that guy. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh... I think I like the idea of that giving the plus to damage and, like, to hit. I feel like because of what is sacrificed, like I would even be fine if it was split between like damage and plus to hit or something. Like yeah, it's... so instead of like SL plus the number it, on your might die to damage, just be like SL adds to hit, and then the number on your might die is just the damage that's dealt. Something, yeah. I feel I just feel like it needs. It's weird to sacrifice health but at the same time at the same time it's like corso heals both of us at the same time for 40 health yep so you know it's yeah. hard to tell no i mean time. that's we can we can we can split it up like uh cuz right now it's it deals extra damage equal to sl plus the number on your might die but we could just do it as it deals extra damage equal to the number on your my die, and then you get a plus to accuracy for the SL. So your skill level is one, so you'll get a plus one to accuracy. Yeah, that's like another good reason to put points in it, too. Because uh, like it'll still scale as my might die scales, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But then if I want it to, like, oh, I want to have like more chance to hit, so it's like, oh, each level is so impactful because I'm getting that plus one to hit each time. Yeah, we can do that. I'm fine changing it. Okay. So, so here's my roll. So it'll be that's a hit. Yeah. Oh, so that's cool. 21 damage plus three. So that's 24. Yeah. And that's also e- kind of easier to remember than the that plus the. Yeah, because I three forgot three it several so. times. Yeah. Last time. Same. I mean, even this time I have. So yeah, and so that that would have been um. Right, like that would have been a 14 to hit. Yeah, 14 to hit. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow, that didn't that didn't do a ton of damage to him. Look how much health this guy has. Holy fuck. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to have to focus on yeah. one guy yeah. at a time. Uh-huh.
Uh, yeah, do a series of quick jabs at him, and I get him a couple times. Whew. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm gonna make you an actual shadow spear type weapon that you can just roll that attack from the fucking uh, like equipment page instead. Oh, uh, and that is shadow damage, and you know what I've decided? Okay, that. Uh, pirates are weak to dark damage. Why? Oh, oh hell nice. yeah. Which means it actually dealt double damage. Fuck yeah. Otherwise, so I'm going to get fucked up by these pirates. So that's 48. So... Okay. Yeah. So that's... Okay. Corso, could you choose the damage <laughs> And you gain a superiority turn? die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, good. Mm, I need to give them something else since I just gave them vulnerability, though. I'll give them another weapon. Yeah. Uh oh. That's how it starts. Sorry, I'm just adding a weapon to their inventory real quick. Hey, we're, we're play testing this game. Yeah, Let's see what, and, what yeah. sticks. Because mm -hmm. I just made the pirate character. Like, they're not a real fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. But in, in, in the process of doing so, you start to get more ideas about the stuff. So fantastic. And of course, I didn't add it to the actual fucking sheet I added to the token. <laughs> At least the music's good. Oh, it's mm -hmm. banging, dude. It really is. Okay. I'm going to delete these two real quick so I can mm -hmm. put the proper token down, I think. Delete. Yeah. Delete. Uh, and then they need to be in combat. And don't forget there are other things you can do in combat, such as... Uh, uh, such as, like, taunting and things like that, and guarding... Um, okay. Yeah. Alright, so next up is... I think it was one... Uh, uh, there were two pirates before me. Yeah, I think because of our level... A little bit. Let me reset this. Yeah. I think because of our level and our knowledge of the game... For now, it's going to be a bit of hit, 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 heal sort of thing. Mainly because we're starting to create certain strategies with the skills of of our characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn it, I didn't mean to fucking delete him. Ah! Don't worry about it. I'll be right back. <laughs> Two seconds. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. So this pirate, he's going to try and attack Morthos, who just, you know, swung mm -hmm. on his guy here. Yeah. And that's not a hit, so he's done. So Corso. Okay. I'm going to spend three inventory points. And this time I'm going to I'm going to enter my hand on my inventory bag. And my shotgun is going to have a streamline of black with the greenish blue lights of Magitech. So it's going to have the dark property. Can it have the dark property? I can summon with a property. Yes. Oh no, but um, I'm living air, to... bolt, earth, fire, or ice, or physical. Yeah, physical. No, I'm just gonna say with the physical. I forgot that I can't yeah, do don't, light. Yeah, don't don't spend or... your. Yeah, you can't do light yeah, or dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, forgot, I forgot about that. Would have been so fantastic, dude. No, I'm just yeah, gonna take. Would have been, my... been cool. Would have been cool for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna attack the one that is uh, in crisis. Okay. Yeah, magic cannon. Oof. Has not been a good day for the magic cannon. And yep, that'll be my turn. I think the highest roll I have had with the <laughs> with the magic cannon is been this <laughs> seven. <laughs> mm. While we don't expect to come back, I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm here. Oh, okay. How much weapon or how much damage does your spear do? 12. Okay. Are you? Some of them still get to go, right? Yeah, it's one of their turns. Yeah. Okay. Let me add this real quick. Yeah, there we go. Now you have a Shadow Strike button. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, dude. Oh, wait, I didn't add it to your actual fucking character, did I? No. Nope. I added it to your token. Which is not the correct way. There you go. Oh, shit. Let's go. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and I chose I chose a weapon that was I just googled shadow spear and that was the weapon it showed me. <laughs> so I cool. just choose that as the image. Okay. Alright, so this one's gonna attack uh Morthos. Yeah. Because I only I only have made some noise and that's it. <laughs> yeah. And he's <laughs> gonna miss Almost got me. <sighs> so next turn. Uh, next round, rather, and where did all my clocks go? I so can you have see all one the clocks. Huh? I see all the clocks. Mm-hmm. I have them, too. I don't know why they disappeared for me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, the combat tracker is just so I can keep count of the turns that have passed. Oh, oh okay. Because I, I don't think it shows me. Oh, I guess it does. It does show me which round it is. Oh, yeah. So, That's pretty cool. I, I guess I don't actually need that, but we're not going to worry about it. We're using it anyways. Yeah. All right. And so on this turn, 
uh, you notice something during okay. as the turn's passing. The shifting of the waves have pushed the ships apart. Oh, fuck. Oh, the okay. pirates are no longer within melee range. Ooh. Oh, they're you guys, bro. Physical just, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So this pirate, he's going to whip out his pistol instead, and he's going to try and shoot Corso. Okay, they, oh, makes shit. sense. The guy with the gun. Yeah, and he misses. Dang. So your team's turn, it can either be Morthos or Corso. Uh, given given the circumstances, I'm going to go first. Yeah. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sh- shoot my shot. Yeah, also the superiority die are... Um, that's a hit. Our uh, <laughs> team wide. Oh, okay. nice. Okay. So you currently have one for the team. However, okay. if the way it works is if the enemy gets a superiority die, you'll lose yours. They won't actually gain one. You'll just lose a point. Oh, okay. okay. So it's kind of like so it's, it's a buffer. Yeah, you can't go into like. You both can't have points at the same time, so they subtract from your points until it's at zero, and then they can go into their points. Okay. And same for you. If they had superiority points and you earned a superiority point, they would just lose one instead. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, the music's jamming. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Let's, let's fucking let's blast. One's yeah. already blasted. Yeah. So that was 17 points of damage. He mm. falls down with a gaping wound in his chest. He he's just be- unconscious, though. He's just unconscious, though, probably. He's, yeah, he, it was yeah. just, just he's, a, a, a light coil to the chest. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he's just unconscious. He, him just sleeping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, yeah. Nappy nap. Yep. All right. Uh, move on to the next pirate's turn. He's gonna whip out his pistol, and he's gonna try and fucking shoot you because you just tried to you just tried to kill this guy, mm-hmm. and he's gonna miss. Just Hell, fine. Yeah. At, at least the RNG gods th- this session have been just. <laughs> yeah. She so more or less. <laughs> Me. Okay, so. I will try to do my soaring strike then. Sure. All right. Cool. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna hit one of these guys. This one. I think. I actually okay. can't tell in the the way that this order is set up. If you hover over them, it should tell you which one's which. Yeah, but. Okay. So, so the one it, that's going, the one that's going next is going to be this one right here. Okay, good. But he's going to go twice in a row because that's just how I set it up. Because you killed somebody on their turn, but they still had three mm. people, which means they still have to get three attacks off. But then they have two attacks next turn, but they still mm-hmm. go first because they won the initiative roll. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, so okay. you're attacking that one. Yeah, I'm going after him. All right. Uh, how does this? It has a dice roll on it. Does it try to do it? No, it just just puts it in the chat. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you just make a spear attack, and it deals five okay. extra damage. Okay. 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 Uh, which one oh, Here it comes. Here comes. Attack from Mela, dude. Yeah. Right. Uh. I got worried that they would get out of range uh, like this. Mm-hmm. That's a hit. Ooh. Is it? Wait, no. Sorry. A seven? Oh, it's like what? No, it's yeah. not a hit. I Sorry. was hoping. That's okay. But you have superiority die if you'd like to. Yeah, yeah you could roll that fucking dex that I had there. Is that how that works? Uh, no, it's an extra no it just, it's an extra action. Mm. So you I can, can get another it. attack off. Okay. Um, 
Would it if just you're be, still uh, attacking with darkness, I say go for it. He's not. Can it's only for that yeah. attack. Oh, you're not? Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. I will um, say, though, that based on that attack, like, you miss the attack, but you still fly to him. Yeah, yeah. But I, I like, I don't. Can I use Heart of Darkness, though? Or do we, does it just give me a regular attack? Or, sorry, Shadow Strike, not Heart of Darkness. Sorry. No, it's just another action. Okay. So well, it's, then... it's anything you could normally do, just again. Okay. okay. Yeah. Then I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna S- spin the spear to die. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. That's a nine. Something. Yeah. That's that is. So uh, let's hopefully this one hits, huh? <laughs> uh, there's no way that this could this could bite me. <laughs> come on! Come on! Uh, remember that you you have plus now. Yeah, that's true. Get I'm right, right, it. You just have to roll the shadow strike in your equipment. Yeah. Let's go for. Let's go for it. Oh no. That's a hit. <laughs> but it's a plus four, so it's a fourteen. What do you mean it's a you plus four? You're going to split it. I think it's... No, 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 no. I'm saying huh? I'm adding his skill level to it. His skill level is oh, one. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. I misunderstood. So it's a plus one. one. Enter description that's here. Right. Yes, okay. Right. I, okay. I guess okay. I should enter a description so it doesn't just say enter description here. <laughs> uh, so that's plus nine. So that's what twenty eight times two. Oh shit! 56. Is fifty six? Fifty six damage. He's fucking hurt. Oh, fuck. He's fucking nice. like you. Oh, you damn near cleaved him in two with that swing. Mm-hmm. Fuck, dude. Of course, oh. I'll finish him off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will. I will. Uh, so it is the pirate's turn. He's going to run up and try and smack you since you're over here. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a hit. You take 14 damage. Ow. Oh. Uh. And then he'll get another turn because we're at a new round. I did not mean to roll that. Sorry. Right. But that's fine. You can read it. I don't shit. Well, the guy's it's it's ill tempered. Hits again. Yeah. <laughs> Hits again for thirteen damage. Oh. Ooh la la. Oh la la. All right, I will create a bond of hatred with the last remaining pirate over there. Okay. And do you want to go first, Corso, or does Morthos want to go yeah, first? Yeah, I'm going first. I'm going first. Okay. And I'm going to mutter some some technological words of activation and a light be, uh, below uh, Morthos is going to appear and I cure you for 40 yeah. HP. Thank you. Thank you. And that'll be my turn. Okay. So if I kill this guy, they still get an attack even though he's dead? No. No? No, there's just two of them now. Okay, it was for not... that round in particular because the guy died in that round. So that, that was... Yeah, if you kill, if you kill this, this guy hasn't acted yet. Yeah. Yeah, this guy hasn't acted yet. He will get the attack now because Corso went and it's now his turn. Okay. But there won't be another attack after that. And he's okay. going to try and swing his sword on you. Yeah, yeah. And he's going to hit for 16 damage. Ooh. Shit. Good heal. Okay. Really good heal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then now it's your turn. All right, cool. Yeah, I will... I guess, I guess, I'll, just, I guess I'll just kill him. Or I'll try anyways. Let's give it a shot. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't think I need that. 
think I'm just gonna do a regular attack on him. Actually, no, I will do it because that that also like makes gives it reason to do it. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then. Yeah, because you get the plus one to damage, mm-hmm. so it's always like, I should always be using this. Yeah. Ooh. That kills him. He's yeah. fucking, you <clears throat> You puncture your spear right there. You like my description I added? Yeah. <laughs> a spear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. Don't think starting this. <laughs> yeah, <Hell> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's dead. Uh... It is the pirate's turn again. Yeah. He's going to run up here and swang. <laughs> Leave my friends alone. He misses. Oh. Uh, Morthos or Corso? Uh, I'll go this time, and I'm going to shoot him. Okay. The ships have... They, they have... they have drifted back together now. <laughs> That's good. Oh. Did I hit? Yes. Hey! Nice. 15 damage. Okay. I'll see what I can do. He's gonna do it again. I'm oh, gonna yes. Try. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to do it again anyways. Uh, yeah, I added vulnerability to the pirates just to prove how important, like, exploiting vulnerabilities and shit is. Oh, that was about to be a fucking nine, then it rolled to a one. <laughs> oh, big no. oof. Yeah. Big well, this is darkness, so... It should be, yeah. It'll, it's good still. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a hit. Yeah. yeah. And he takes... A lot. 40. 42. Right. 42, yep. Yeah. I'll head back to my ship also after the sort of uh, exchange... Sure. Yeah. Mm hmm. Corso. Oh, I'm going to shoot. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can hit one. <laughs> let's do it. You hit him once already. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I did. Oh. Finish him. I, I think I. Oh, I heal two, two health also. Mm hmm. That's what? a hit. Oh, it's a hit? Nine? Yeah, these guys don't have shields like the brigands did. Oh, shit. Nice. Fucking nice. Figured they wouldn't, you know. Why would pirates have shields? Yeah. And <laughs> he's dead with a hole in his chest. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Combat over. Damn. And you killed those guys in three rounds, so you get two more XP. Oh, damn. Is All right. Three or two or four. I mean, I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Oh. I, I, I kept I, my tracker like messed up because I wasn't actually doing it. Oh, so two oh, XP? Well, yeah, two XP. Okay. Which puts you at enough to level. Oh, hell, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, dude. So you would, you would lose 10 XP and go back to one because mm-hmm. you would level up. Level six. Nice. And then oh, we can. We can loot the guys, or I'll, I'll figure out like loot and stuff on the ship after okay. for for next time. But you can level up now, and we'll call it here. Yay! Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. Because it's um, been three hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go uh, gourmet. Yep. Nice. I'm gonna add one. Cool. Gourmet. Level one plus two inventory points. And I'm going to take. Yeah, there was one called Mutant that I figured you'd think was pretty cool spec. Okay. Yeah. It says Mutant, also Abomination, Experiment, Lycanthrope. Okay. Well, they can like they morph their they can one. morph their body into like weapons and stuff. Hmm. I'll definitely take a look at that. 
I'm gonna spend one point on uh one more point on elementalist. Okay. And start building that out. All right. Yeah. yeah. And I'm then, gonna uh, take cooking. Yeah, I figured you were gonna say cooking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, to get buffs. Uh, what is the skills? Uh, skill cooking level one. Fortunately, oh, yeah, gourmet description copy and paste. You're also going to have to uh, remember what you roll when you're making things. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, oh. You'll, you'll, you'll I'll want put to it in order a chat. list. Well, you'll want oh, to create a, like, a list to keep track of. Because when you cook something for the first time, you have to roll a dice to see what its effects are. But then its effects are that. Just in the future. Oh, yeah, but what we can do is that I can make the item, and in the description, I put the, the attributes. How about that? Sure. Okay. You damn text editor, let me put the fucking description. Hmm. <laughs> no, no, it, 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 it's a bit funky. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, come on. Let me... Let me do this thing. Mm. 